YouTube, welcome back to my channel, 618 Visuals. This finna be a full-blown transformation. This right here is a drop fade. He keeping his points on his sideburns. Everything finna be nice and clean for y'all. Finna really walk y'all through this. I just got back from a little trip or whatever. I'm finna get right back to uploading. Y'all already know the program. Gotta stay locked in. I'm so close to reaching my goal of hitting 1K subscribers. Thank y'all for helping me on my journey. And if you're one of my viewers, come get y'all haircut. Y'all been slacking on getting y'all haircuts, but I know y'all been smoking that weed. Get y'all priorities straight. Get y'all self-care straight. Come get y'all haircut, man. Be right by Salute Park in Arden, Illinois. You already know what's up. You already know what's up, man. It's 618 Visuals. And if you see me in public, man, don't shy away from... Fucking with me, gang. I'm a, I'm a real deal. You hear me? You can come fuck with me, Brody. But right now, I'm knocking all this bulk down to a two with my Teapot Reaper Editions. Everything right here gonna be even. Knocking down with a two, clearing this area out, so I can come in and set my ball line in and start putting my foundation in on my fade. And while I was cutting this hair down, I seen this hair was going in a whole lot of different ways, so. I grabbed my little miniature brush. I added some mousse, brushed everything down, let it air dry real quick, hold all the hairs in place for me so I can come in, set that ball line and start fading. And all the hairs ain't moving everywhere, sticking out everywhere. The clippers will go through and feed through the blade nice and smoothly. I even had a head to cut as soon as I got back from this trip. But I'm finishing up a haircut right now while I'm doing this voiceover. But um, right here, I'm taking down the bulk on the lining with a number two guard, keeping everything flush, not taking it down too low so I can keep some of the darkness around his uh, lining and all of that. Really, I wanted a more gradient look without enhancements, but he still asked for enhancements after the cut. So y'all gonna see the haircut pop a little bit more after I add enhancements, but even before enhancements, that thing was staying in your... That cut, man, I'm slicing and dicing right now. And recently I've been setting my ball on with my clippers instead of my liners. It's getting more comfortable for me. And it's helping me not deal out my blades as fast as I usually be doing. Easy. Flip that clip around, come up, take out that bulk. Real nice, quick, and easy. Same thing I'm doing right now with this cut. Brushing all the hairs off, clearing my area out. Make sure you always clearing your area out, making sure you can see your fade. So while you're progressing throughout this fade, you ain't got extra hairs in the way, getting in your way, knocking you off your little pivot, man, knocking you out your zone. Right here, I'm going to speed this up for y'all. This is uh, a process of me setting my ball on and coming up with these clippers all the way closed, as in lever all the way closed. If you got your notches, make sure the notch is all the way as close as possible. Pointing upwards. Right here, I'm using my uh, green liners. These are just some backup liners I use to uh, ball. Always have you an extra pair of clippers, extra pair of liners, so you can uh, set your ball lines in and clear these areas out so you ain't doubling out your clippers or your uh, liners. Or constantly using the same clippers, liners. You feel me? Right here, I'm slapping on that one and a half guard on the Amazon pair of clippers. Coming in closed, taking out this book on these sideburns. Right here, what I wanted to do with the sideburns is to give him his ice picks like he still wanted, but I still wanted to separate his ice picks from his drop fade like he wanted. He didn't want it connecting with his drop fade, but he still wanted his um C cups to kinda show in a way, but he didn't want it connecting. So I had to help him out right here. So 
Because we couldn't really explain it to each other. You get what I'm saying? But we both know what he wanted. And as you can see, the drop fade is dropping right under his occipital bone. You can see me changing out my goddamn water. Bro, change out y'all barbershop water, bro. Y'all water should not be looking like that. Y'all water should not be looking like milk. Go change y'all water. There you go. Pour some barbershop in there, my brother. Coming in with that 0.5 after I came in and blended that guard gradually open and going notch by notch all the way down. I'm coming in with this 0.5 closed, coming up half a quarter inch, not even a quarter inch. And I'm going to open this gradually and I'm going to come up. And while I'm opening this 0.5, it's going to gradually turn into a one. And I'm going to switch to my one and gradually come up to that 1.5. And I'm going to kind of touch up this area with a 1.5. Not taking it as low as a 1 or a 1.5, but still keeping that 2 that's at the top that I took the bulk down with. Still trying to keep it in that little area right there. So as I come up with the 1.5, I'm trying to make sure I'm not knocking out that 2 that I set when I was knocking down all this bulk in the beginning of the video. So you can see me switch with my other guard that's in my hand. I have my one in my 1.5. And then I'm switching from my one and my 0.5, gradually closing. Coming around the ear, holding the ear down, keeping it out of placement, making sure I can see the full area. Make sure you take a couple steps back sometimes while you cutting hair as well. Your focus can get a little bit off your eyes and your vision can get a little bit blurry. Make sure you rest in your eyes. Give yourself a little break. Come back to the fade. Finish it out. Everything gonna come out stronger if you give yourself some time and make sure you're looking at things from different perspectives. Another learning curve I wanna get over is talking more. I gotta learn how to like bring conversation while cutting hair. It's kind of hard to do that, but I think I'm I'm a pretty easy person to talk to type shit. So I'm kind of getting good with it, but I just want to work on it more. You see me slapping on that 1.5 T-Pop guards. In the old video, I said these guards are flimsy. They were only flimsy for the troll editions. On other clippers, I don't know why they fit way better. No cap. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not supporting no brand until they pay me. Type shit. And as you can see me positioning my client's head. One thing I used to really be scared of is hand placement. And like how hard I'm touching people. How hard I'm holding the clippers. All of that. Really, you just got to ask, bro. Asking you shit. You can kind of feel if they jerking their head a lot. Ooh, shit. Excuse me. I'm tired. But you can kind of feel when they jerking their head a lot and they uncomfortable. Right here, I'm knocking this line down one more time, though. One and a half. Using my clippers to comb down these hairs with this guard on but hey watch out though sometimes these guards will fall off watch pay attention man and right here you can see me sectioning it off sometimes clients don't get retwist before getting cuts so me personally a lot of barbers don't do this i'm not saying every barber doesn't but I haven't seen any other barbers do this. So what I be doing is I section off the front part of the dreads, making sure the front taper isn't fucking diabolical. I'm trying to get as the least amount of hair needed to line my client up. I don't need his whole forehead giving him waves in the front type shit like he don't got dreads. 
when he could literally get a retwist and put those hairs in his dreads in the front and not have them so skinny and the ones in the back way thicker or he just can join in, in dreads because there ain't no space. You don't want to create the McDonald's hairline on every fucking client you got. Now right here as I'm coming around, I can moor this hair down to this 1.5 length. All the way open, basically a two. Come out all the way around. Man, I am so tired, bro. Oh, uh, my fault, y'all. In this video, I forgot to ask y'all how y'all day going. Go ahead. Let me know how y'all day going in the comments. Let me know how long you've been subbed. That's what I want to know. How long you been subbed, bro? How far did you get into this video? Oh, me. Type a five in the chat if you got far in the video. Because this pretty much the finishing product. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe for me. 618 videos. Hold on. Let me redo that. <clears throat> Y'all like, comment, and subscribe for me. 618 visuals. I'm about this bitch.